for Wall Street Media, I'm German Mike. Hey, I'm here hey. with Doug. <laughs> and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. And did I mention... No, oh, that's right. You're not Cynthia. Um, no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not as blonde, not as beautiful. <laughs> you know, my friend. <laughs> You're every bit as beautiful. Ah, here um, we go. Um, uh, yeah. We have a conference. Yes, we do in Vegas. And you know what stinks? I'm not there. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't go to the conference anyhow. You would be I'd gambling. be stuck at the table somewhere. <laughs> I'm supposed to be at the Harvard Club right now. Okay. For, for uh, the uh, hedge fund from uh, Julie from Bear Stearns. They're oh, the hedge right. fund now. Yeah, you're a little toddy there. Yeah, I got to go be nice to her after you threw the shoe out the window. <laughs> well, let's just go back to the conference. Uh, for anyone that's interested, the full presentations can be reached at wsw.com slash webcast slash gabelli24. Uh, first up, we have uh, a video, actually. It's uh, Dan Ustian, chairman, president, and CEO of Navistar International, ticker NAV discusses their hybrid vehicles, the Class 8 engine, and the launching of a new engine, Max Force 11L 13L, with the diesel power and outstanding power characteristics. Now that sounds like an engine that we would make, yeah, doesn't it, it? That sounds like a big engine, like a blubber <laughs> engine. Boom, 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 boom. Now, do you know what? It's, it's not too far off. Um, let's watch the video, and then let's come back. Okay, awesome. We're a leader in truck manufacturing. We like to be a leader in product. This is an example of the kinds of things. These are more like medium kind of trucks. These are hybrid vehicles. Uh, the market has shifted a little bit. I there was not much market at all for hybrids. It's shifting a little bit. We also have one at the top right hand corner. It's a UPS Eaton Navistar uh, combined hydraulically actuated hybrid, which you know I would argue over time is more commensurate with the type of economic value that can be brought. The, uh, the ones at the bottom there, uh, they're pretty expensive for now until they get at some volume. Uh, the hydraulic, frankly, seems like the one that's got the most potential to have the least cost and the best value. And that's going to take some more development. But we have some of that in the marketplace today. Again, the point is we need to be a leader in product. Speaking of leader in products, on our Class 8, if you notice the shares that were on another page, we have about 40% share in class six and seven. We have 60% share in buses. And we have 20% share in class eight. It's not coincidence that those vehicles with the high market share have our diesel engine in it. The one at 20%, we buy the engine. Right now we're launching a new class eight engine that's just going to production right now. It's just going to the marketplace right now that we'll, we think will give us some opportunity to grow. And keep in mind, from the parts standpoint, we've had none of these parts. So when a vehicle travels that 150,000 miles a year, the engine parts, we have not had any of those. So it'll help us grow that business. But you can see from this chart that the engine weighs about 500 pounds less than a, a commensurate 13 liter, 800 pounds less than a commensurate 15 liter, and still has better performance and fuel economy than either one of those. Again, this is not represented in the, in the advancements that we've made yet on market share because it's just being put into the market today. Another factor as we go forward, and we would call this point probably the critical nature in the American trucking industry is 2010 emissions. In the past, meeting those emission, emission levels were done consistently by all manufacturers. This year we're breaking the mold on that. What we're doing is taking an EGR system, what we have today, and making it work in 2010. And you can tell from this chart, we're the only ones doing it that way. Okay, well, that was it. Now, do you know what? I like this guy. And, and, and the Max Force engine, right? He's making these for like big coaches, right? Uh -huh. That are, are like $400,000, but he said that's going to be so much more powerful and so much better than anything else that's out there right nice. now. And uh, they've got a whole lot of military business, right? Um, just fantastic, man. A great, a great company. Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, we have another video, actually. William Cook, CEO of Donaldson Company, ticker DCI, discusses new product platforms, power core filtration technology, uh, and torrid power core dust collectors. Now, th this is Bill Cook, and he is a great American. I love this we guy. We follow Donaldson Company yes, for a while do. now. Yes, we do. 
guys, it's election day. I, I hope that what made America great is that you went out and voted today. And a CEO like Bill Cook is a great American. OK, um, and he's not paying me for this. He's going to be surprised <laughs> to hear me. But um, he really is. Now, th this is a solid company. They've been, they're in Minnesota, right, mm -hmm. uh, out by where RBC are. Oh, okay. um, but um, th they've been in business for a very long time. And they make filters. And they make, like, not crazy filters, but, like, filters that do, like, tiny microscopic mm -hmm. things. And filters that do, like, gigantic, like, rivers, you know, like, right. fabulous All stuff, kinds right? of filters, and actually. they're all over the globe. They, they've got the... You really should watch this and watch their slides. You ought to see this. The, their uh, combined annual growth, their dividend growth, all look like this. I think their return for the last 19 or 20 years mm -hmm. is 20% annually. Oh, wow, nice. Uh, for shareholder return. Oh, wow. And the dividend increases all the time. Their dividend, he explains in the presentation, and, and you really ought to watch this whole presentation at the URL the German told you to see, um, for Donaldson Company. Uh, he's got great slides there, too, and you ought mm -hmm. to see what, what the slide chart looks like this, the earnings chart looks like this, wow. you know? Well, in, in the video, he's actually holding one of his filters in yeah. his hands. Pretty, they make really hands cool on. stuff. Let's yeah. watch that. Okay. On the product side, a couple of uh, highlights, and I've shown this uh, at previous seminars. Donaldson uh, invented this technology about 20 years ago. This is a, a replacement filter for a small air cleaner used on a farm tractor. So Donaldson would design and manufacture the entire housing, but this would be the replacement filter. Uh, we released this in the late 80s. It was very successful, but we left it out there too long. Other people started to copy it, figure out ways around our patents. We learned from that experience, and earlier this decade, we introduced what we call power core. The construction is different. Um, it's hard to see how different it is, but you could probably all see the difference in size. So the power core is about 50% of the size of the technology it replaces. Same life, same performance, proprietary replacement parts. So give the customer the same value in a smaller package and lock up the replacement parts opportunity. Now, we, we, we learned something from what happened in the 90s with uh, this technology. Shortly after we released PowerCore, we started working on the next generation planning or assuming that somebody else was going to be able to knock it off eventually. So earlier this year, we released Generation 2 of PowerCore, which is the third again smaller, same life, same performance, and again will lock up the replacement parts. It will be hard for somebody to figure out in a short period of time how to will fit this. Th this is just one example of how we're more aggressively using our technology to re-innovate to re or refresh our product lines on a more rapid basis to both give our customers, our OE customers, better value, but more importantly, to lock up the aftermarket. We've extended uh, where we can use this technology into some of our industrial businesses. We've been putting in gas turbine filters for a couple of years. In April, we announced uh, a, a dust collector. And you can see on the, uh, the right there a bag house sort of in the background. And our uh, power core dust collector is in the foreground. It's about half the size of a traditional bag house that would be used in a manufacturing plant. So less space, uh, easier to erect, and a proprietary re re filter replacement cartridge. We're investing uh, significantly in liquid filtration. This is one of our strategic uh, opportunities is to become as big in liquid as we are in air. This is a new media we've uh, released this year called Syntec XP. And there are a couple of different applications there. Uh, there's a, cr a crankcase ventilation filter up in the uh, upper left, a mist collector on the bottom, and hydraulic filters on the lower right. I, I love this guy. I think this guy is, is what it makes America great. They have mm -hmm. great rules where you've got to um, have five to ten times your salary in stock, right? So that you're not one of these people out there saying, Oh, yeah, we're doing a really good job for it. And I, I watch sometimes, and I think, like, I just watched. I, lo I looked up your information for others that, mm -hmm. that we've seen, right? And I think, you own that stock in the company that I do. Right, you know? right. <laughs> and I just did it for, you know, just mm -hmm. something that I bought, right? These guys have very strict rules 
with that kind I of thing. I think every company should have that, actually. So, so, so do know. I, Mike. So do Top I. Top management should be involved and responsible and responsive to what they are doing. I mean, if they have money in there. Let me tell you something. There's nothing like skin in the game, man. Right. You, you can like somebody as much as you want, and you can wake up with as pure as the driven snow intentions, you know. Mm -hmm. But when somebody's got their money in, they just care that right. bit more. <laughs> you know, they, they have a whole different attitude they, to it. They don't walk away, right? <laughs> like if that phone's ringing, but it's 501. Right. You know, exactly. they're thinking like, you know what? This That's might, another customer. Here we go. This might pay the electric bill. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. <laughs> you know? Right, exactly. And that's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. And that's Bill Cook, and he's a class quality guy. You guys saw the little clip there. Watch, watch the whole presentation. Um, a, a, a great American, a great American company doing what they should do. And the way they work their dividend is it's over the last three years' earnings per share. Okay. Right? And great. then it's on a rolling mm -hmm. basis, right? Oh, that's great. And he so explains that, that in the full presentation. Years have actually 20% a year. Yeah, right? nice. Wow. Um, it's growing now. The dividend's down at 1% or 2%. It's not a, it's not a gigantic mm -hmm. dividend, but it increases all the time. Nice. Right? And the earnings increase all the time. And he's diversified. You know, there's filters and crazy stuff that I didn't even know, mm -hmm. right? I watched the presentation twice today. <laughs> You know, nice. I want to try. You're the engineer, right? right. And it just right. bugs me. I think, like, man, do, if, if yeah. I go in and the German knows more about this than me, I'm just going <laughs> to kill myself. Oh, well, I don't know everything about filters. I think you know everything about everything <laughs> else, though. Um, All right. Um, now, they, guys, this is Gabelli. We love Mario Gabelli. Um, he's one of my all-time favorites, and this is their conference out in Vegas. Uh, Again, you can watch the uh, whole presentations at wsw.com slash webcast slash gabelli24. Interesting times for these guys. A lot, it's, it's their auto, auto, auto parts, you know, suppliers, that kind of thing, companies, mm -hmm. right? And, you know, GM sales are down 40%. Fords, I think, were only down 30% last month, right? Oh, well. Woo! They got to get to work on these electric cars, guys. That's going to be the future. I no filters in electric cars, though. Oh, yeah, dust filters. They do uh, all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff, like for atmosphere, right, environmental, okay. yeah. you know. Um, uh, I bought ABAT the other day, um, which, which uh, makes electric batteries in China, and they make them now for, in China, they're using a lot of, like, electric bikes and electric scooters, but they think they're going to move up uh, some. Right. You know, in, in, into like electric cars. Everybody's From scooter, waiting for that more one. into something bigger and right. something bigger. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think they are more hands on. Like a small car, uh, people will buy a lot easier than in, in the US. I absolutely would. If you we know. found something that we could throw our paintball stuff in, run out to the beach, play some paintball, and come back, and it wasn't going to be a big problem, I'd buy one tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all we have for now, right? Lots of change today, guys. I hope everyone voted. Uh, that's what makes America great. I hope you like Navistar and Donaldson, two great companies. Uh, and I, I'm not bad-mouthing the Navistar guy. I just don't know him as well mm -hmm. as I know Bill Cook. Right. Um, and I've been following Bill Cook for quite a while. But the Navistar guy sounded like he was hitting it on a lot of different uh, fronts as well. Mm -hmm. You know, he said they're doing things in India, right? And they're doing things with the military. And, and they're in different nice. markets so as different well. different areas at the same time yep. to cover. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Great. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, you're welcome. We're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at wsmco.com. Thanks.